Hey everyone, Mikio here with a special video. I don't do these often and I probably won't do these often either way, but I've got here a special unboxing of this very nice copy of Master of the Rogue Spire by uh, one of my buddies, Kale Stutzman. He actually sent me this box in exchange for a co one of my copies of uh, the Machiavelli. So we kind of did a bit of a designer trade kind of deal, so I am going to show off this product of his, in part because haven't seen a single video about it outside of the playtest during the Kickstarter. Complete crime against humanity. Let's remedy to that. First, I just want to say, look at this box. You got some nice art, rainbow stuff going on, a little bit of Japanese. I know it's not just there for aesthetics, but goddamn if it is an aesthetic, got that classic, that doesn't mean anything, but it looks good. On the other side you got more of the same art, this side, same thing, same thing. Over here you got a bit more of the red and rainbow thing going on. And the back uh, also looks pretty good, everything you need to play. Indeed, this is a very fully featured thing. I want to say it's a bit expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. So let's open her up, yeah? I'm freaking ecstatic, I've been waiting for this for two weeks. Alright, so inside the box, just going to put that here. Inside the box you get... Rules for players. It's a three volume kind of deal. Ooh. So I actually thought these were going to be zines. So, you know, just two tacks and a piece of paper, basically. But no, this is actually. This is actually proper soft bound book. So there's three books like that, 80 pages, which about like 250, 300 something pages. So about the size of a standard RPG. Some very nice. Monocolor art, monochrome. I mean, monocolor. That's redundant. I haven't uh, read these yet because you know this is an unboxing, right? But it's got some good stuff in there. Some nice art. Good amount of rules. We'll have to see more for that later. The rules for the master. I actually quite like having these separated into small zines instead of a big book. Sure, the big book looks better, but these are nice around the table because you can like throw this one at your players and keep these two for yourself as the DM and you don't have to like constantly shuffle books around the moment somebody gotta remember something else over here we've got the uh... Oh, I realize it's uh... Now flip it that way, there we go but here we have the Monster Cyclopedia now I wanna check that out first cause there's gotta be some good art in there, right? oh yeah Oh yeah, Manticores, hands, giants with beards, frogmen, gelatinous cubes, gargoyles with big lips, orcs that look like they're out of a Ralph Bakshi movie. Actually, this, yeah, some of it reminds me a bit of Bakshi, but not all of this orc with the small eyes. It definitely is kind of Bakshi-esque. Shades, skellies, all the good stuff. Uh, not sure if I see any demons. Uh, Oh yeah, it's some, uh, ooh. Also some, uh, always important, loot tables. Oh yeah. Grappling hooks and cookpots and... I wouldn't really call a cookpot major loot, but okay, that's... I mean, that's expensive. Unlike, if you got that online, it would be expensive. I don't know if I'd call it a major loot, but it's big, so I guess it works. We got some... Small stuff too. This here is Adventure Module number one, the Demon Docks. It's got a nice map. You could use that in anything, I'm sure. And that's the case for most uh, adventure modules now. Is a sign of a good one. Note, places, big maps. It's not a fold-out map, but you know it's pretty small, so you can actually lay that out thin. Oh, actually, that's really smart. They put the full pound map on the middle of the book where you put the tax so you can actually lay it out flat without any issues that's actually really smart I never thought about doing that before absolute design goals right there some stat blocks afterwards alright pretty standard adventure module stuff how many pages is that? Uh, I wanna say like 10 pages of content and uh, like 16 pages yeah like 18 pages total with the uh, stats. Fair enough, that, that adds a bit more to the monster manual, so that's always nice, I think. 
over here we've got ah right that's the character booklets right because apparently character sheets are too mundane they gotta be booklets so you gotta do some book binding if you want it to Ooh. oh that's uh that's actual freaking like uh, cardboard stuff actually oh so it's it fits on a single page so I'm assume I assume you can there's like a printout sheet you can get online didn't check or didn't find it but that is quite nice so I think you get four of these you know general party counts so on one two three and four not more no less then again I could keep one and just scan that and get more that way that works too no issues ah there we get the interesting part then we have this it is the master's deck in uh, unfolded form just gotta do a little bit of it like this give it some 3d and then you uh, I believe the kids or well the kids I believe the uh, zine enthusiasts call this a talk box because you tuck it in and then you go you get a box to put a deck of cards in what deck of cards you might ask it's coming we get tokens I think they're double-sided indeed they are these are for the different states that your dice can be in. Uh, looks like one of them fell off. How easy is it to chip off? Yeah, pretty damn easy. Yep, pretty standard token affair. I want to call this maybe FFG tier. If you know Fantasy Flight Games, that's pretty good. Yet, ooh, velvety smooth purple royal dice bag with a good rope. Oh, yeah. I want to say good components so far ah then we get oh that's a that's a little bit folded all right that's a bit weird the master's deck this is basically just a full tarot deck hang on let me open this I've got a uh, there you go got my katana letter opener here should do the trick there you go there you go hiya Deck meet air. I mean, I gotta look at these, right? Like, this is the uh, big feature that's mentioned but not explained that you can uh, use this deck of cards to basically run the game with no prep through some kind of arcane mean. Oh, right, gonna put this there, right? So, merchant, commoner, thief, halfling. Outsider, half elf, elf, squire, martial artist, seven of swords. Ah, so there we get some of the standard tarot stuff nine of swords, ten of swords, the knight, it's gonna, <clears throat> the demon, the expert, seven of wands. Ah, you put wands? Come on! Everybody knows when it comes to tarot, if you put it's the sticks. Anybody that doesn't use sticks is a goddamn coward. You can't just use wands or staves. Come on, it's sticks. The king of sticks. How can you say no to that? Ugh, oh, absolutely. Oh, hey, here's the sage, the art on the box. Here's a female version, so all of these ones. And then you got some of these rainbow cards, the independent. So I think this is like the standard tarot. I, th I think this doesn't have minor, major arcana. Perceptive, ambitious. I don't actually know that much about tarot other than what most people probably know, so I couldn't tell you how big a standard tarot deck is. Lucky. The hangman. Oh, hey! Never mind. Here's the major arcanas Hanged man. Death. Selfless. All right. Cruel. The tower. Yep, that's a tower getting hit by meteor. Uh, the dogmatic, the deceptive. Hey, there's art that was on the box. The obedient, principled, last judgment. I guess that counts as judgment. Principled. All right. So it is. It does have the major arcanas, but it has changed a few names to suit the needs, I suppose. Which is, you know, fair enough. This is why you need a custom one, right? Like, what's the point if it doesn't have some custom stuff in there, right? Maybe you can mix and match this with another tarot deck and get an even bigger one. Principal Tower. I don't know if I can... And then it fits into this box all nicely. Just fold this out. Just fold this out. 
stuck this one in and uh, and Bob's your uncle. I mean, it's one of these things. It's easier once the uh, cardboard has taken its shape. Fits nice and slug. So it says on the back, Randomize your world. Use our in innovative tarot card system to play your game with zero prep. We'll see about that. I do quite like the look. The uh, master deck is actually sort of printed to look like a uh, book or tome, if you want to sound edgy. Very nice, very nice. And... You get some dice. Let me just uh, open these real quick. Uh, these look pretty small. Hang on, I'm having issues with the... Uh, so ecstatic, I can't fuck... Come on, get out of here. There you go. Got him. Ooh! Alright, so they're a bit small. Maybe a standard sized, actually. They have a good weight to them. They're actually kind of clackety, you know. It's hard plastic, I can say that. It's not soft. Roll. Yeah, sure, roll. Yeah, these look pretty good. So you get the master deck and all the stuff in there. So, a bit of an odd thing, though, right? You get your standard array of D4 to D20. Very nice overall. And you do get a dice bag to put them. Here's the size of the dice bag. Here's the size of the dice, though. So. Size of the dice. You put those in there. You have a lot of empty space. I guess you could put, like, the master deck in there. I guess what I would probably do is maybe put the tokens in Ziploc bags and throw those in there. Or just throw the entire freaking thing in there, too. That could work. I mean, what else are you going to do with these tokens? That's a nice bag. I don't know if I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just use it for myself and not even put it back in the box. And then you get this uh, ordering thing, which you often see in other stuff. Let me just. Alright, doesn't want to come out, but. I don't believe there's anything left in the box. No, that should be it. I don't think he uh, hid anything surprising in the back of that, as far as I know. So, this is what you get gotta say that's uh pretty good stuff of course that deck box fits nice and slugly in there it's not like ffg's kind of set up there where it never freaking becomes useful in any way shape or form this is overall very nice i gotta say this is some extremely premium stuff which is fair because it does carry a relatively premium price of 75 dollars but, you know, for an RPG boxed game, I want to say that's about standard. The only one that's kind of outside of that standard is probably like Forbidden Lands with the $50 box if you don't have to import it from Scandinavia. But overall, very nice. Gotta say, I can't wait to read into this. Uh, probably gonna talk on my Twitter, at Mikio, uh, later when I've read it so I can give my thoughts on that probably leave a review on the drive through RPG if I can because I can purchase it there not sure if I uh, will be able to so yeah overall thank you a lot Kale for uh, sending me all of this I do recommend you guys send them some love I as I said I've seen nothing on this game so far absolute freaking crime as you can see this is beautiful this is apparently OSR uh, compatible I'm not entirely certain about that certainly not the most osr uh, compatible thing around like you can probably very easily like homebrew stuff from ad and and stuff in there like but as i said like it is very nice overall very impressed with what we got here very happy you guys send me this can't wait to do some work on this might even release an adventure module for this I'm not exactly sure what it entails, but it will pr definitely entail an undead dragon or two. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, so thanks a lot for watching this video. And uh, please like, subscribe, all this garbage. And uh, have a nice day.